Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to do post classification with uh, the teachable machine provided by Google, where in the previous two videos, uh, we talked about like object classification and we also did audio classification. So we can actually like detect different kind of like audios and then classify them uh, into the classes that we're trained on neural network on. But in this video, we're going to do some different kind of poses and then we're going to actually like train on neural networks online to do post classification. So when we are making different kind of poses, we can actually like classify that by the neural networks that we have trained uh, with the CG Ball machine provided by Google. But first of all, remember to join the Discord server, I'll link to it down in the description here. And you're gonna come join the channel, chat with us about computer vision, deep learning, artificial intelligence, and so on. Also remember to hit the subscribe button under the video here. Uh, it really helps me and the YouTube channel out in a massive way. And I just really appreciate your support, so thank you guys. So let's jump straight into the CG Ball machine where in the previous videos, we did image project, we did an audio project, but in this video, we're going to do post project. So we're going to teach based of images from our files or webcam. And in this video, we're going to use uh, the webcam where we're going to do different kinds of poses, create some classes for those poses and then train our neural network. So first of all, we're just going to hit this, um, uh, this post project here. Then we can actually like, create some classes. We can see we already got the class one and the class two. So we can maybe call the first class here just a standard, so no pose. So if you're just sitting still, we're classifying it as no pose. Then we hit the webcam uh, uh, button and then we can actually like add the samples from a webcam to the actual like data set. So we can see we open up our webcam. I'm not using, I'm not using the webcam here in the browser. So we need to allow that. We can also like switch between the webcams here if we want to, but we can see that we get up this image. We get a, like a post estimation here. We can see that we are like detecting my eyes, ears and nose and also my shoulders. If I take my arm up here, we can also see my, my elbows and my hand. And if we move in further away, we can see that we can even like classify or like um, estimate the whole pose of both the knees and stuff like that. So we can take like every single uh, in every single piece of our body and we can do pose estimations of all of those. But in this video here, because we're going to like hold the record here to actually like generate our data set, then we're just going to do some simple ones with the hands and also just this no pose class. So here we're just going to have this no pose. And we're just going to hold hold to record. Then we're going to add our samples to our data set that we can then use to train our actual neural network. When we hit this train button over here to write later on. So first of all, we're just going to hit hold to record. And then I can move around a bit here in the image frame. So we actually like get some different kind of samples over here to the right. And we're just going for like around hundred samples in this example here. We could also like have less or more samples depend. It, it really depends on like how many different kind of classes and how specific your situations or like your poses are that you want to actually like classify. So here we have gen generated 101 poses. We can see like all of the different kind of poses we have. So now we have created the first class, which is a no pose class. And then we're going to go down, add an additional class. So in this example, we just have this class two and we could maybe have like, for example, something uh, wave. So if we're going to wave, we're going to classify that uh, with a specific pose. So we're going to create this uh, wave class. We just again hit the, uh, add the post samples here with our webcam. We could also upload our own files if we have like poses, post like images from our like our own local computer and we want to just train a neural network here uh, in the teachable machine, we can also do that and then just get the model, export the model and then use it in our own projects or applications. So here we're going to have a wave. So I'm just going to hold up my arm like this and this looks like a wave. And then we're just going to hold to record here again. And I'm just going to move uh, arm a bit around here so we can actually classify different kind of poses. So again, we're just having like around 102 samples here. So around 100. So that will um, fit perfectly. Then we're going to create the last class here. So we just have three different classes that we're going to like classify. Then we're going to train our model, preview how the actual like outputs are when we're doing these new uh, poses that our neural network hasn't trained on before. And then at the end, we're going to actually like export our model. So the last class here, we're just going to hit this add a class and we can just add like an arbitrary number of classes that we want to actually like do the post estimation of. But like the more classes you have, more uh, the more samples you will also need. And also if you have some really uh, specific poses that you want to like classify it and you also need more samples uh, than 100 like for these simple examples here i won't even like need 100 images to actually like be able to create this pose estimation but we can like we can get a higher accuracy the more samples we have uh, for our poses so the last class here that we're going to take is that we're just going to have like uh, with our right uh, right arm instead of the left arm so we're just going to have uh, right wave 
So we can both wave with the left arm and the right arm. So I'm actually just going to change the class up here. So we're going to call this left wave. And then down here, we're going to have the right wave. So again, we're just opening up the webcam and then we're going to hold to record to actually record our samples and generate our actual data set. So now we have 100 poses, uh, post examples here in our data set and we now have all of our classes that we need, want to like train our model on. We have all the data, we can just hit the train button here and it would like to like run through for uh, 50 epochs. It will just take like around 10, 20 seconds to actually train the whole neural network here uh, on our data set with 300 images of these different kind of like post uh, images and classes. So it actually like took around one minute to train this model here in the in the cloud. So over here to the right, we can see the actual like output. We have again, we have the uh, webcam open. So these are just new images that we're feeding through, uh, through our neural network or a model that we have trained. So we haven't like trained on the images that we get in from the webcam now. And we can see here the output when I'm just sitting still is that we're classifying this uh, situation or like this image as no pose. And we can even see we have just the accuracy of 100%. So it's really certain that this is a no pose uh, class that we're classifying in this example. And that is also correct. And it's not even flickering. It's not going down to like 90, 95. It's just 100% accuracy all the time. We can see even if, if this bar here is flickering around the shoulder, it still predicts like this is a no pose. So here I'm going to have the left wave and it just immediately goes to 100% when we're going to have this left wave, even though I'm moving the arm around here in the image frame and sometimes it even loses track of the arm, it still predicts that this is a left wave. And we can do the exact same thing for the right, for the right arm here. It just immediately goes to 100, so it's either zero or 100. So it is, is really, really accurate. And we want to like, it's just a really, really nice and accurate um, model here that we have trained. And when we're going to do predictions on data that it hasn't seen before, it's really, really good. It has high accuracy, but again, like these are simple poses. If we had more complex poses and like full body poses, we would probably need more samples. And sometimes it will like probably flicker around uh, 95, 98% and stuff like that. But here we just get 100%, zero or 100% right wave, left wave and no pose immediately go, just goes to 100% really certain so this is a really nice and cool uh, example that we can use and we can even go up here and export the model so we can see how we can export it for example like tensorflow javascript how we can even use it uh, with javascript and so on so i'm going to go into details in other videos uh, where we're actually like, going to export the models and create our own applications and then use our models to do or like just to, to deploy the neural networks or the models that we have trained here in digital machine in our own applications and projects so Thank you guys for watching this video here and remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification on the video and also like this video here if you like the content and you want more in the future. Just really helps me and the YouTube channel out in a massive way. I'm currently doing this uh, computer vision tutorial where we're going over uh, the basic, uh, basic stuff about image processing techniques, camera calibration, like depth estimation with different like with stereo cameras, how we can get, get, get information about the depth in images and how we can estimate uh, distances to objects really cool as well so if you're interested in computer vision techniques deep learning and stuff like that i'll link to the tutorial up here or else i'll see you in the next video guys bye for now